a shooting at an Opelika business last month. Police now say it was part of a strange plot to kill over a couple of hundred dollars. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live at the jail in West Miami Dade, where the suspect is tonight. Hank. Well, I can tell you one thing today that was extraordinary. The Opelika police chief went on TV to clear the name of a man who was wrongly accused of an attempted armed robbery. Here's a story. I think that he brought him there to murder him. The chief is talking about December 14th, Opelika, a routine armed robbery, it seemed. A man walks into AG Auto Finance, gets into an altercation with the owner. A fight goes down, and the alleged bad guy gets shot multiple times. David Flores is hospitalized, can't talk. So why is Alejandro Gomez in jail, charged with second-degree attempted murder? He's the guy that did the shooting, protecting himself? Eventually, the cops got to talk to David Flores, who's now the victim. Mr. Flores advised a totally different story. Mr. Alejandro Gomez called Mr. Flores to his office, said, hey, come get the money that I owe you, which is $200. When Flores walks in the office, he's then shot by Gomez several times. David Flores is the owner of this auto sales on West Okeechobee Road. Just exactly what his relationship is with Alejandro Gomez, police aren't sure. We never found a weapon on scene. Even though police found Alejandro Gomez was wearing a holster, that disappearing gun got him charged with tampering with evidence. And the chief now going public to clear David Flores. This man Flores, his name, and people thinking now that he's a robber and, you know, he's some type of person to do things like that. This is a hardworking man mm -hmm. that wanted to be paid for service rendered for a job that he did. Well, we attempted to talk to David Flores. We learned from friends that he's out of town recuperating. Meanwhile, as we said, Gomez is in jail, likely be in bond court tomorrow. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back to you.